I shot him six times. What's going on, horror fanatics? Welcome to I Shot Him Six Times YouTube Horror Movie Channel. As you know, I'm your host and creator of the channel, Marcus. If you have not done so already, please shoot this video a like. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm a ton. As well as if you're a new viewer to this channel, please shoot that subscribe button as well as that notification icon so you get all the latest content updates to the channel. So, as we are all well aware, we have been getting a plethora of TV spot trailers for Scream 6. I have been showcasing them here on the channel. You know, breaking them down, letting you guys know what I feel and what I think. And yesterday was no different as we got a, the Super Bowl trailer ad that we were supposed to get on Super Bowl Sunday. It got released early yesterday and it's about a minute long, you know. And it does lead to some speculation in terms of Mindy Meeks Martin's character. There's been a lot of speculation going on around this character already on whether she will live or die in Scream 6. And this trailer kind of hints at the fact that she may actually die in Scream 6. So before we get into the trailer, as well as another trailer that I have, a TV spot trailer titled Investigate, I will let you guys know, as I'm sure you are well aware by now, this video may contain spoilers for Scream 6. So if you do not want to be spoiled on anything Scream 6, this video may not be for you. So without wasting any more time, let's get into these trailers. The first trailer I'm going to showcase is titled Investigate, and then the second trailer is going to be the Super Bowl trailer that we got released yesterday. I've been investigating Ghostface attacks. Do you have anyone that might want to target you? Not anyone who's still alive. This isn't like any other Ghostface. this place it's a shrine guys we've got to lure him in we execute him come on mother scream it's for you okay everyone so the first shot that we are going to focus here from these trailers is Samara Weaving's character Laura in the back alley now, a lot of us obviously speculate that she is going to be the opening scene and kill of the movie. And a lot of us speculate that the person that we see, well, we actually didn't get to see exactly who it is. But the person that we do see getting zipped up in the body bag, it's really quick in the trailers. It's been featured in all these TV spot trailers. A lot of us assume that that is Samar Weaving's character underneath the body bag. Well, here, I'm here to debunk that and tell you that it is not true. That is not Samara Weaving's character who is getting um, zipped up in that body bag. And here's why. Look behind Samara. Look at that building. You see lights. It looks like some type of store, some type of restaurant, some type of building, right? Well, now, look at this next shot where you see Samantha Carpenter standing outside. You see the paramedics. You see the ambulance, obviously. You see Dermot Maroney's character. You see the body bag there vaguely, etc., so on and so forth. But also look to where I have the arrow pointed. If you look basically above and behind the ambulance, you can see trees there. There's no building there. And you can also look to the left. You know what I mean? You can see a brick wall. This is a completely different area, completely different alleyway to where Samara Weaving's at. That's not the same alleyway where Samara Weaving is at. You can also identify that by the, the metal gates. The, there was no metal gates in that alleyway scene that I just showed you guys in that shot anyway of Samara Weaving's character Laura. So that in my opinion is not going to be Samara Weaving getting zipped up in that body bag. Well I'd like to think I just proved that to be fact. I just debunked that you know and I don't know if she is still going to be the opening scene kill of the movie. It's still very very possible 
but this scene where we see the person getting zipped up in a body bag is not Samara Weaving's character. But it is significant to the speculation of Mindy Meeks Martin's character being killed off in Scream 6. And that's the next shot we are going to focus on. Alright everyone, so if you look to the top right corner of this overlay, then you can see the shot of Mindy Meeks Martin on the ladder. This is a shot from the Super Bowl trailer that has everyone speculating that she is going to be killed off in Scream 6. Well, I'm not here to tell you if you do believe that, that you are wrong. But what I am here to tell you is that me personally, I don't buy it. And this is the reason why. Is if you also look at Devin Nakoda's character... In the middle shot that I have here, this is from another trailer that was released a few days ago. We see the same thing with her character. The only difference is you actually see Ghostface tilting the ladder, which insinuates that Annika, Devin Dakota's character, Mindy Meeks Martin's girlfriend, is going to be killed off in Scream 6. We, we were having the same discussion with her character just the other day. Now, you see the same for Mindy Meeks Martin. Well, what does that mean? In my opinion, these are edited scenes in the trailers to keep us guessing and to keep us speculating and to keep us talking. It's not 100% confirmation that Annika is going to die and it's not 100% confirmation that Mindy Meeks Martin is going to die. However, I will say this. If either one of them is going to die in this scene, I'm going to go with Annika for the simple fact is you see the ladder being tilted. In the scene with Mindy, you don't see the ladder being tilted just yet. She still might have just enough time to get across. Another thing to take note of, of that scene with Mindy, if you didn't catch it in the trailer, is that Annika kind of falls out of camera. You don't see what happens with her character. You don't see if Ghostface stabs her. You don't see anything. So that's something that I wanted to point out as well. You know, that was I kind of found a little bit funny. Could it be a fake out scene? Could Annika be a Ghostface? what have you anything's possible but basically what i'm saying is that they are editing certain scenes in these trailers to keep us speculating and to keep us guessing and to keep us thinking that certain things is going to happen that might not actually happen but again if any one of these two characters mindy meeks martin or annika her girlfriend is going to die i'm going to say it's annika because in her shot that we see here in the middle in the top middle it looks more likely that she's going to be the one who's going to fall to her death. Another thing I want to take note of, and I will say this as well about Annika, if that she, if she does die, if she is the one to die, or even Mindy, either one of them is going to be the one who we see zipped up in that body bag. And this is the reason why I say that. As look at Samantha Carpenter in this overlay. Look at the arrows. If you look at her shirt, this is the same exact shirt that she's wearing in that alleyway scene that I showed you guys to debunk this, the Samara Weaving Laura alleyway scene. That's the same exact alleyway. That's right outside of their building. Wherever they're at. Wherever Ghostface, you know, comes in and attacks them at. That is right outside. Another way to prove that as well is when you see Samantha talking to Josh Segarra's character right outside. You see those black metal bars. As well as you see Samantha wearing the same exact shirt that she was when Mindy and all of them were being attacked. So again, I think this, obviously I just pieced this all together, y'all. This scene here it, with the body bag, with, you know, Samantha standing outside. You see Dermot Maroney's character walking up. You see the paramedics. This scene right here is going to be either the death of Mindy Meeks Martin or... Or her girlfriend Annika. And in my opinion, I'm going to say that it is Annika who falls to her death and is the one we see get zipped up in that body bag. I will point out before I move on to the next shot that this is the scene where I do believe we will get introduced to Danny Brackett, Josh Segarra's character, as you do not see him getting chased in the house with Samantha and the rest of the gang, but you do see him across the way in the opposite window that they are trying to crawl across the ladder to. So it seems like he may be their neighbor, and obviously after hearing the commotion, it seems like he's trying to help. Now, obviously, could that be suspicious? Absolutely. But from what I'm taking it at right now, it seems like he is just their neighbor, and it seems like this is how he gets brought into the fold, basically because he sees the events taking place in the house next door with Samantha Carpenter and everyone else. 
We now move on to the shot of DeMont Maroney's character, Detective Bailey, interrogating the Carpenter sisters, where he goes on to ask them, do they know anyone who would want to target them? To where we get this nice line from Tara Carpenter saying not anyone who is alive. Basically a nice little dig at Amber Freeman or Richie Kirsch's character. But what is really telling in this shot is Samantha Carpenter doesn't say a word. She doesn't respond to that question. Now, it could mean nothing at all, but in my opinion, it could definitely mean something. What is there something that she is not telling Tara? We all know that Samantha, and our, at least in my opinion, and I've discussed it here plenty of times on the channel, that she has so many secrets that we may not even know about outside of the fact that Billy Loomis was her father. There is a five-year time gap between the events of Scream 5 and where she left Woodsboro that we have unaccounted for. So I found this very, very fascinating how Samantha had nothing to say. And in my opinion, I think that we may get some type of backstory to where whoever is doing this and targeting Samantha Carpenter this time around has something to do with her past and something to do with that five-year time gap between her leaving Woodsboro and returning to Woodsboro in Scream 5. We now get this next shot of Kirby Reed talking to who we can assume to be Dermot Maroney's character, Detective Bailey. And she goes on to state that she has been investigating Ghostface attacks. Now this is very, very fascinating and important because we know that Kirby Reed is supposed to be an FBI agent in Scream 6. But why this is important is because we don't know where Kirby Reed is coming from. She could be coming from an entirely different state outside of New York City. And I think that could be the case. And why that is even more significant if that turns out to be true, that Kirby Reed is coming from an entirely different state where Ghostface attacks have been happening, as that basically all but sums up and confirms that we have a cult of Ghostfaces on our head. Now, could this cult that Kirby has already been investigating, could they have made their way to New York, which is why she's there in New York? Very much so. Could they have no relation to these New York killings? Very possible as well. But that piece of dialogue, in my opinion, all but clarifies and at least hints very heavily that we could be having a cult of Ghostface on our hands in Scream 6. And in this last shot of the video, we get this shot in the trailer of Ghostface standing outside. You can tell they are outside because you can see the set of trees or set of bushes that they are standing right next to. Now, if this is a set of bushes, in my opinion, this could be a callback scene to Scream 1996, where you saw Ghostface stalking in the bushes Sidney Prescott and Tatum Riley before they left Sidney's house to go to the store. Something to take into account for sure. You can also tell that this is not the Ghostface with the old worn out Ghostface mask. This mask is cleaner, so I'm going to assume that this Ghostface is from the subway scene. Nonetheless, this is a nice shot of Ghostface standing outside, seemingly stalking possibly Samantha or whoever else for sure. But okay everyone, that is it for this video. Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know you guys' thoughts on the Investigate TV Spot trailer as well as the Super Bowl TV Spot trailer. As well as let me know what you guys think about me breaking down that back alley scene and let me know do you think do you still believe anyway that Samara Weaving will be the opening kill of the film? As well as let me know, do you think will it be Mindy Meeks Martin or her girlfriend Annika being the one who is zipped up in that body bag that we see in the trailer? Leave a comment. You know I always love to engage and talk to you guys. Once again, this is I Shot Him Six Times. YouTube Horror Movie Channel. As you know, I'm your host and creator of the channel, Marcus. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. Thank you all for watching.